You may have heard the admonition to trust no one, but that is not practical for daily living. If you want to be trusted, you must be able to give out trust. And for you to build long-lasting relationships, you must trust and be trusted. However, there is a need to be careful about how and who you trust. On who to trust, heed to this anonymous quote. Never trust a person that lets you down more than two times. Once was a warning, twice was a lesson and anything more than that is simply taking advantage. And so, in this video, I will share with you seven types of people you should never trust. 1. Fickle-minded people Did you ever play on a seesaw? Well, let me explain how it works. When you sit on a seesaw with someone on the opposite side, each of you takes turns pushing off the ground. When you go up into the air, the other person touches the ground and when that person goes up, you go down. So that you know, the seesaw is also called this that. A fickle-minded person is like a seesaw. A this that person without a balance point. These types of individuals are always indecisive and give in to any suggestion, so you are not even sure if they will support you or not. Today, they will say yes to you, but the next day, they will change their minds and say no. You can't expect anything from them because they may disappear even when they have made commitments to you. 2. People who tell you other people's secrets Do you have that friend who is always telling you about other people's private matters? If yes, then your secrets are probably being shared too. And just the way they tell you not to pass the information to anyone else, that is how they tell someone else not to give your information to others. Regardless of the person that they speak with, they hold no loyalty to close friends or anyone else that they come in contact with. They don't have regard for other people's confidentiality as long as they can get something as small as the attention of others from spilling. When someone keeps sharing other people's secrets with you, it is a pointer that they will tell other people your secrets as well. Hence, you must minimize your chit-chat with such people and be careful of things you do around them. 3. People who are too sweet to you Of course, certain people are naturally pleasing to those around them. However, many people who act nice are not lovely. They want something from you. One significant difference between the real charming individuals and those who want something from you is that real charmers open up to you about themselves and imperfections and also their whereabouts. In contrast, the fake ones act like they are flawless without opening up a bit about themselves. Also, when a formerly mean person suddenly starts acting cute, you should be careful. And when someone is unfriendly to others yet shows a special kind of liking to you, you are also allowed to be suspicious. 4. People with competitive traits Being around a competitor can be very annoying because all they care about is getting there before anyone else. These people can go to unnecessary lengths just to prove themselves. It's unwise to tell their physical or mental weaknesses to someone who shows signs of competitive behavior because they do not mind using the information you have entrusted with them as a weapon against you, just so they can win. If a competitive individual is your friend, their method of sabotaging your winnings is quite different. They will not come straight up and say, hey, I don't want you to win, hand me that prize. Instead, they will use sneaky tactics such as breaking shocking and perhaps false news to you just when you want to carry a task that is critical to your winning. For instance, they may whisper into your ears that your partner is cheating on you just before a major presentation. Although there are chances that having a competitor as a friend can make you step up your game, their competitive approach can breed grievances and cause a rift. 5. People with Narcissistic Traits these set of people always think that the world revolves around them. According to psychologist DJ here, he said and I quote, A narcissistic cannot trust himself with his addictions or issues going on in his head. He does not even trust anyone and never sees anyone equal to him. Hence, he is not a trustworthy person. Narcissists are fair-weather individuals who will take advantage of you to satisfy their desires. But they are never there to offer assistance when you are in need. Even if they help you, the whole world will hear about it. For narcissists, nothing is more important to them than their ego and unhealthy self-esteem, not even your trust. 6. People who lack empathy 
Just like competitors, people who lack empathy do not care about you. Their apathy will never let them put themselves in other people's shoes. Instead, they avoid any scenario that might cause them to be thoughtful and focus on how to victimize others. Moreover, those who lack empathy do not trust you. Forget the charade they put up. Since they do not attempt to understand what you think and how you feel, they don't feel safe with you. Hence, it would help if you were careful around them. 7. The Social Climber These people are always desperate for public attention. They are the ones who will borrow other people's accessories to look good in the face of outsiders. Since their main goal is always to look blameless, they are usually chameleons that take on any shape or size to impress others around them. These individuals are deceitful. In most cases, they are friends with you only because of what you have. They will try to use your accomplishments and connections for their selfish benefits. If you introduce these set of people into your circle, they will use any means, even tarnishing your image to get closer to your other friends who they perceive to be more influential or accomplished than you. When you observe a person who previously did not regard you, suddenly being so persistent about being a friend after a significant success, be sure to take cover. Getting into a friendship with a social climber is like carrying a bomb in your backpack without your knowledge. Some people bring brightness to our lives while others darken our path, making it difficult for us to journey through life. In the same way, some people would do unimaginable things to help us and others wouldn't try, even if our lives depended on it. Be sensitive enough to know those who ease your journey so that you can stick to them, as well as those who make things hard for you so that you can tread carefully.